Come on, Molly. Let's go. This way. Look, there he is. Cyberfun Tech to bring the magic of Bonds Burgers to life. Today, we'll take
magic and journey through the magic of the showstoppers and how they were created. You might learn a thing or two about the quality of our company. of the showstoppers, the face of Bunny Smiles, Inc. Concept art is a very vital part of any good design. So many different ideas to... The Bunny Smiles Incorporated Art Department was in charge of pitching up multiple designs for the characters and creating the designs we all know and love. Rosemary Walton, loving wife of is a brilliant artist with a huge passion for poetry and the theatrical and has done numerous art pieces before becoming the lead artist in BSI. She's the one in charge of making the final designs that would later become the characters they are today. I think I always had a pretty clear idea of how each character looked like in my mind. The designs just made sense to me. I wanted to make them seem appealing to younger audience while still being simple enough so they can be easy to remember. Bunny Smiles originally reached Cybertron to make their blueprints for the animatronics. But we all got so invested to the idea that we decided to have a full partnership with BSI. I'm Susan Wenick, the lead technical engineer of Bunny Smiles. We added a ton of features into the models. We managed to even make them have their ability to walk and interact with the audience. information and code is stored in the audio animatronics, how they can walk, sing, interact with the audience, etc. That's how they manage to feel so lifelike to our audience. The console is also able to recognize specific people and places. Yeah, don't worry, it's working. First we need to... Is the console on? Yes, yes, Charles, I just told you. Alright, alright. Uh, I'm just checking if everything's going to play. I know, don't worry. This isn't the first test we need to do with the robots. Alright, great. You're taking notes, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, I am. Right. <clears throat> test 203, movement. Movement. Alright. Alright, so... Let me get the console working. Working? Yeah. Ah, this is how it's supposed to go. We place the tunnel objects around the room. The animatronic is supposed to get to us 
about bumping into any of the tables, boxes, chairs, etc. Sounds good to me. What happens if the robot falls or comes across any object? Well, then we're just going to have to test this out again until we get this right. It'll be a long night, then. <laughs> you said it. But all right, everything seems fine so far. Sure, but not about being so close to the table. I don't think... Oh, shit! Fuck, Fuck, I told you to watch for the table, man! Well, damn it! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> What's going on? Fuck it up. Where's the rent? I'll uh, check the drawer. I think Jack left. I don't know where he is either. I know, I know. I'm just. Yeah, a little worried. Did Linda call? She did, yeah. I'm gonna be totally honest with him. Knowing Felix, he's probably drinking somewhere in town. Does Jack or uh, Rose know? Nope. I don't think Linda told him how to either. Susan, we have to tell them. I think even Chris knows about the addiction. Let's just focus on work for now, shall we? Right. So, uh, I'm checking my notes right now. What's up to do? Well, Norman said we should start testing the facial tracking feature, so we're going to have the robot walk around and see if it recognizes our faces. Well, we checked that already. Jack brought in Molly here, and the console recognized us. Well, yeah, but we're going to do a secondary test, because the console seems to have trouble detecting the faces. Oh, the test we did with Sophie, right. Mm-hmm. I see how this test goes. How's Lily, by the way? She's fine. Spending time with the mother for the weekend. Everything seems to be working properly. Huh. So that means no more testing for today? Yep, pretty much. Ah, oh, sweet. I could really use a beer right now. That reminds me of what we were talking about earlier. Uh, yeah. What does that mean? That's what I heard, man. He was drunk while driving the car? Tell me your voice, all right? Look, the animal went down some weeks ago. They didn't tell us? It was private, Charles. Only the family were there. Fuck. How's Jack holding up? Haven't heard of him in a long while. I barely even see him at work. You don't think Felix's story... Why, don't you? A story? I think it's bullshit. I think something else happened, man. Something worse. God. So they're gone? Molly and Ed? Listen. I don't even want to think about it. Sitting with that freaking fucking doll in the room. What's it doing here? My Felix said it is. Tell us not to tell Jack or Rose is here. Shit. I don't even want to be involved in this shit anymore. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sally Technical Support, audio log number three, June thirtieth in
Rosemary asked about the doll. I, I told her they, they, that they left it at school. That was a lie. I don't know what to do with the doll. Wherever I go, there it is. And I can't get myself to get rid of it. It's like a constant reminder of this huge mistake and how there's nothing I can do to make it better. Out there 
die, you're slowly suffocating. But here, you're safe. The spirit doesn't pass on quite as fast as the body does. I would know. Pleasure to meet you. My name is Tom, and you're Susan. Hi. I've had my eye on you. I know you very well, my friend. I know you like to fix things, isn't that right? Well, so do I. Wouldn't you like me to fix you? What are you talking about? Perhaps I could help you. I... Here, a gift. Take a look inside. Wonderful gift that will eventually become your new body. Just like a beautiful butterfly bursting from a cocoon, you will be reborn. I'm not listening. You don't have to listen to me. That is up to you. But what other choice do you have? A spirit can survive without being tethered to a vessel. I know you're scared. I was too. But everything will be okay. I, I, I don't know. Apologies for what I had to do. To you. But look, the hard part is over with now. Besides, you can't make an omelette without breaking a few eggs. Don't show where. 